Good morning, chaps. This morning, I'm just waiting for Gemma to get in the car, and then we're off down to the unit, and I'm going to attack that goddamn plate chiller. Oh, it's warm inside this car with the windows closed. So what we're going to do is see if we can get those new threaded rods attached. And then that's it. That's the job for today. And then I'm actually off to Newcastle tomorrow, so there may be no vlog. We'll see how I feel and if I'm going to be able to take the camera with me. Right, let's go to work. Hello. Hello. Right, if I can get these other bolts off, which I have done, I'll have to strip all the plates. And then I'm going to take this into the back room, clean up, cut all these nuts off for a start, clean them up, and then attach the new big berthers. We'll also have to cut some bigger holes in the uh, compression plates, I guess you might call these. Just make sure that they fit. They should do, because that's where the nut has been rubbing looks big enough. pleased with these gaskets actually and just looking through them randomly only two had not glued properly so if I pick it up and show you you can see that that's where the glue joint is just there it's holding enough all it needs to do really is just hold while we place the gaskets into the chiller and then we ain't gonna do that many brews on this chiller to be honest I'm going to get it working and then I'm going to get shot of it after six months and get a new one. So if I have to open this once a month, then once a month re-gluing the gaskets, it ain't that bad a thing, is it? So that's that sorted. We'll pop that on there and we'll go over and we'll have a look at this. Uh, well, let's open the threaded rod first, actually. Right. Yeah, so it ain't going to fit through the holes existing, so I need to I need to bore out these holes so they fit the rod, <clears throat> and uh, in order to do that I have to make sure I bore them out in the correct position, otherwise we're going to end up with issues clamping down, so I'll just take a moment and figure that out. the holes Jesus yeah man the holes in here I had to cut them with the plasma cutter so this fits through Jesus you can't really grind through this sort of 10 mil stainless with a Dremel not gonna have it and then on the threaded rod if we can get the camera to just focus in a little bit you'll see that we've actually just nipped off all the galve on the end so I ain't gonna be poisoning myself when I weld this onto the plate chiller so let's get these on ASAP. The time is ticking on, it's half past 12 gone. So I'd like to get this done and dusted before I bugger off. So let's crack out the welder.
Well, I'm a lucky fella this week, aren't I, folks? So whilst we just let that welding cool down, I've just received a package, didn't know what it was, so I opened it quickly. And it turns out, it's some lovely lacking home brew, folks. Oh yeah, we've got a Pivo Pills. Pivo Pills, Chevy Pale, and a Smashed Mosaic. And, a note. Hope you don't, I hope you don't mind me reading this out, but it's from another YouTuber, so I suspect uh, it would be good for you to all go and check out his channel after this. Hi Harry, don't know if you're aware of my channel, Dudes Brew, there's your plug, but I ran a competition a couple of weeks back to celebrate hitting 700 subs, well done mate. I asked people to enter on behalf of their favourite homebrewers, YouTubers or bloggers and I would send the winner, uh, I would send the winner's nomination a secret beer mail. You've probably sussed by now but you won the raffle after being nominated by several people so congratulations and thanks for putting out so many cool vids over the years which are clearly appreciated by lots of people. Well thanks to you too and everybody who nominated me. Uh, looks like the brewery is coming along great, so best of luck with everything, and I hope you enjoy the beers. Cheers, Richard, aka Dudes Brew. P.S. The Pilsen has bottled off the keg, so he's good to go. And there are two bottle condition, the other two are bottle condition, so we'll need to settle. The Chevy Pale is a bit young, so could do with a little conditioning. Well, Richard, thanks a lot, mate. Thanks again for everybody who nominated me. It's out of the blue. Wow, that Pilsen is crystal clear, I've just noticed. So, uh, yeah, big big shout out, big thanks. I'm going to enjoy these. Uh, well, I might have the pail tonight. So, in order to diagnose the plate chiller and see where the leaks are coming from, because it still is leaking a little bit with some of these gaskets, I'll show you what I'm going to do to troubleshoot it. So, basically, I remove all the plates. Come on camera, let's catch up. So you remove all the plates and just start with the basics. So you can see we've got the back plate, a product plate and a water plate. And she's sitting at three bar, 40 PSI. I've turned the water off. There's no leaks, there's no drips. So what I would do next, I guess, is add another plate, and another plate, and another plate. Keep going until we can't get rid of the leak. And then we know we found the dodgy plate or the dodgy gasket. And also, I don't know if you can see this, I understand that there's a lot of pressure on there. There's a little bit of a bulge in the middle. Can you see that? I wonder whether it's going to require another, another pressure plate applying to it. We shall see. But I'm just going to carry on fiddling with this for another 20 minutes and then we're wrapping it up for the day. Right, that's it for the day. I've got the plates sealed together. I got 10 in there, ten, 5 product, 5 water. Got it up to 3 or 4 bar and it was leaking from the product side to the water. So that's got to come off and be troubleshot. At the right word, trouble shot, possibly. But yeah, I'm wrapping it up now. I'm just gonna go and get in the motor. We'll see you all tomorrow. So just as a caveat, boys, he says somewhat pissedly, uh, tomorrow, if there is no vlog, there is no vlog, and if there will be a vlog, it will just be short sequential clips of me walking around Newcastle because I've never been there before and quite frankly I can't really warrant carrying the Canon 80D around the whole city so we will see you uh, hopefully on Sunday if I'm not too hungover other than that it will be Monday and we'll carry on work as per the requisite don't know what I'm saying anyway see you then cheers